Okay, we are continuing our Imica Games Marathon with Imica's second game. This is Find Yourself. It's supposed to be a shorter one. Another one I don't know anything about, but I'm sure it's good because from Imica, I'm expecting myself to enjoy it a lot more than the last one. Let's jump in. Ooh, this is cool. Turn the beat up a little bit. I have a snare in my headphones. Oh, this is cool. I like the lighting. Oh shit, we're gonna have to run, we're gonna have to crouch. Okay, this is gonna be, this might be kind of intense. Hello, little fella. Who's there? Meow, meow, oh, we own this, we own this city. <laughs> I am ate up. Oh, okay. Nuclear winter games. Cool. I wonder what they make. Ha ha ha. Funny. Money. We all are slaves, loser. This graffiti's cool. I like that it's all English too and not Russian. I can understand it. Don't blame anyone. Try more. Try Moroi. Damn. I really like this. I would totally live by this and like make this my slogan if it was spelled right. <laughs> Try Moroey. Left mouse interact. Oh, parking ticket. Ooh. 5 p.m. 5.30 p.m. Meeting with psychiatrist. So far, I'm feeling like this game. As well as the other game before, but... You can do it. So far, what I've seen of this game. I feel like this is like Imica Games trying to find themselves to figure out who they're going to be, what kind of games they're going to make. Because really kind of after Summer of 58, I feel like they kind of had it figured out and they've kind of stuck to that since then. But this seems a little different. Like the first one was quite a bit different. This one seems even more different than that. Although I don't really know how this seems because I haven't really... Middle mouse to focus. Oh shit! Where did that come from? Cool. Wasn't exactly expecting that. Okay, so we're gonna be on the subway now. I'm excited to see kind of how that subway looks in this game. With all the graphics turned to ultra. I also hope that I stop getting dropped frames because that's kind of crazy. Get dropped frames from a game from 2020 to Monsters Among Us. Stop ahead. Why is there a stroller left on here? At least they took the baby with him. No one can call him a crime baby. Nope. Not even at a wedding or a funeral. Maybe it's not her child? I kind of like how this subway looks better in this game than in that other game. 
It looked more photorealistic in the other game, but it was it's kind of harsh on my eyes. What? Okay. Well. Yeah, still dropping frames. Oh. Huh? It's gone. Where did that come from? Okay, I feel like this game is going to be a lot like that last game, actually. It's going to be like another, like, PT. Like. At least it seems like that so far. Run around and try to get something to happen. Oh, whoa. damn those frame drops. Sounds like something's like cutting through the roof of the place. Whoa, okay. I don't feel safe even in my room. I tell you what though, uh, Imica games are really good at using a bunch of common assets in their games and they still just feel fresh and awesome. The red sun lights up the oath of the white knight because they're really good at like storytelling and 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 not just just make an uninspired asset flip like they actually make a game and just use assets to do it which i think is totally fine if you're going to use them which i totally understand like basically every indie developer using them 90 percent of them because Who's gonna code all their own stuff, you know? Like that's that's insane thing to do and then and to be able to like make a decent game in a decent amount of time. Um but but yeah, it's super cool if you build a good game around it. And also try not to use like ones that are like super common. <laughs> like I wish this wasn't this room, but whatever. I'm sure when this game came out, it was probably like brand new. A lot of people haven't used, hadn't used it. My mother punished me and locked me in a room. After you left, Dad, she started treating me badly. That's so sad, man. I hate. Oh shit! I hate kids being harmed so much. They just don't deserve it. What's that hiding under the bed? What the fuck? Shit. Wow. Is that cloven hooves? Hello down there. Mr. Monster? I wish you'd come out from under my bed. I need to sleep here tonight, and I can't do it with all that noise you're making. And terror and fear that's oozing up through my mattress. I used to love funny clowns, but now they seem evil to me. <laughs> the red sun lights up the oath of the white light. Peter. I can now. 
hell. Why when I sleep? Dude, having that monster sit there and make that noise the whole time, it's unsettling. That thing sounds like he's getting agitated at this point. I, uh... I think he's mad at me. But I have not figured out what the hell to do yet. No, uh -huh. I just got him to quit hiding. I looked, did you not see me looking at that thing already? Trying to click on him and stuff? I think it's because I didn't zoom in on him, maybe. Oh, fuck. Yikes. Um, okay. Why, why are you guys back out? Ooh! I might need this. You're definitely gonna come in handy. So yeah, I need to remember that the zoom function in this game is more than just like, um, convenient for you to be able to look at something closer. You actually need to zoom in on some stuff to trigger it. Kind of weird. Sounds crazy. I don't know why. We get to see this thing in the daytime now, or with the lights on. So zooming, that was, okay, so... This is an endless loop, I think. Because when I was looking in there, I was seeing the back of the ghost, and I turned around and it was facing me. Or vice versa. But, yeah, or monster, zombie thing, whatever it was. Son, you are... Oh, you can go to a different cart now. Oh, bad idea. Yo, where'd you come from? There's some big old boobs on that mannequin. Pickle you or something, little bear? I need to get to that. <laughs> yeah, like understanding the rules in some of these games is so hard. You need to find something to open it with. Okay. Like, um, and that, that Fracture in Mind game. I ended up beating that game without ever knowing what the hell the rules were. <laughs> I did not know how I got to the end. I just tried to keep going. Now I need to find a damn key. Okay. Do you have a key? There's the key. You guys are in my way. Cannot go around. Oh, you have no head. Oh, you have a key. Thank you kindly. Oh, they had the VHS filter. 
Can this thing kill me? Oh, yeah. It can. Damn it. Oh, that's cool. Um, definitely cool that the save point's like literally right here. Why am I walking back toward it though? That's dumb. Oh shit. Need to clear a path. Move it, move it. What do I, how do I do that? I feel like I'm violating them. I have to keep pressing on the breast. This is... Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Who said that? Who are you, exactly? Okay, now where are we at? I see monsters in my room. My mother didn't believe me and locked me in the basement. Oh shit, that's where we're at now, huh? Well, look, this is the basement for that. that yeah, it belongs to that same room upstairs. They're part of the same house. Like, it's crazy. I feel like I am so thorough when playing these games. <laughs> but so thorough, I was just not ever thorough enough. Oh, wait. Fucking stairs. Did she say that? Found the portal. Oh shit! Wait, wait, wait. How's that work? Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay, so if I go this way, no. If I go through here, no. If I go through here and then this way, ah. Okay. So that changed some things. Is this still the same? Nope. Yes. Oh, shit. Uh, looks like I didn't find the portal enough, because how do I get over there? Man, one thing that um, is super cool that horror developers do that I have like so much respect for, have so much respect for so much stuff that they do, but it's um, soundtracks. Like, damn it, I try to do like, shoot, uh, maybe I do go this way. Yeah. in it. I probably do not want to know what's in that. It is double locked. It is all fancy and stuff. There's a cross. What the hell? Hey there, buddy. Same note. Same note. Okay, go through the portal, I guess, somehow. Did not work. My friend Bigfoot. Hey, Bigfoot's what got me into horror. I know a lot of you guys remember that. Yeah, turned off the lights in the house. <laughs> oh, that's mom. You're not awake. Wait, what? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. There's a note. For as long as I can remember, my mother has always been acting strangely. Well, if that lady is your mom, 
But your mother is strange. She's inhuman. That's why I hate clowns. Okay, so I just sat down here and painted. Did I really have to like... I'm sorry, Mom! Jeez! Yikes. Um... Did I really like have to sit down here with some chest right next to my mattress on the floor? with God knows what type of body or demonic shit in there. What a great mother. Mother of the year. A woman in a blue dress whispered to him, Be strong, my white knight, for there is a struggle ahead of you for the green meadow. No, not here again. You. I don't think. You're my friend. But I'll take you. Act three, big fun. What? Whoa, that was funny. <laughs> Uh, sounds like I'm at a carnival. This game just turned into Father's Day. Whoa! Do I want to turn around? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely another PT like game. And I can understand, you know, it being like five years old, four years old, or whatever at this point. Like maybe three years old. Like, the further kind of you go back in time, the more a lot of games will want it to be like PT. I think they didn't understand what made PT good. <laughs> oh, jeez. Need to look around. Found a note. I used to go to this park with my dad, but after the incident, I never went back there. Poor kid. Locked. Need to find something to open it with. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh! Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I play Father's Day. I know what to do. I think. Nope, oh, nope, oh, nope. You come this way, clown. Come on, you. Come on. Come on, hatchet man! You down with the clown? Can I take that? Oh, give me that, please. Can I use that against him? <laughs> Who left the bolt cutter on the swing? Need to run the attraction to get them out of there. Okay, so... Oh no, I ran right into him! He went around! <laughs> Shit. This. The boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents. It was discovered in it, it was discovered in an abandoned hut outside the city near the park. According to the boy, he was kidnapped by a man dressed as a clown when he was on holiday with his father. Is that me? I lived in a cage for six days. I had two other children with me, but I was the only one who survived. At home, I began to have nightmares, and then I learned to control sleep. 
caught himself lucid dreaming. I brought friends for him and brought a lot of toys and food. I want to be a real father to him. Oh, this is the clown writing this. Uh, he shouldn't have felt bad. And he was happy. I did everything for this. Why do they keep going like this and it? Oh, because of the translation, they need better localizers. The other kids were misbehaving and I had to calm them down. Don't understand why they call me a maniac. Kids love the clowns. <laughs> That's funny. All right, now where is the damn fuse box? I imagine this clown being like a Italian. The kids love the clowns. It's a me, the clown. The kids are loving me. We all have a really good time. Just a me and the kids. Honky nose. My squirting flower. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of messed it up there toward the end. Okay, what do I do with that damn knife? We need a key, we need a fuse. One of those has to be around here somewhere. Here we go. Ah, that's why we needed the knife. Now we got a fuse, okay. Oh, we need the bolt cutters in the fuse and then we just got the fuse to be able to get the, okay, I got it. Please don't kill me, clown, I finally figured it out. You guys remember Bozo the clown? I totally forgot there used to be a freaking clown on TV back in the 90s. And he was like so popular. Alright. Okay, which one's got the bolt cutters? Right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get me. Got him. Alright. Where is that kooky clown? All right, finally we get to know what's in here. What the fuck was that? This is kind of cool. I was thinking that the last game would be kind of more like this. Like jumping back and forth to like multiple types of uh, locations, but guess not. I mustn't distract my mother. What if I do? But I mustn't. But what if I do? Oh, it won't let me. Flashlight? Hey, mom. Mom. Mama. Mum. Mummy. Mom. Mama. All right. I don't think I want to go in this room again. It's annoying. I have to continue hunting the monster. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to shut you off. What if I use a mask to scare him? I need, need to make him trap for the monster. I did not read the rest of that. What did I say? I have to find hell and a rope. Did he say hell and a rope? Well, I know where the rope is. Give me that. I think I saw a, oh, a bell. Oh. Okay. Well, um. Oops, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. <gasps> that was me. Oops. Why is there a bell? Why is there flies in mom's room? What's in this? Steve and Nancy. Aw. These people have the same name as my parents. Who are they? Why is this photo hidden here? Dev 
Volsk, uh, arrested, begin, right? What, what's the, what the hell does that say? Okay, it's like not English. As a child, I didn't understand why my parents behaved so strangely. Now I think I understand everything. Well, oh, I'm happy you do. I don't. Still don't get it. Bell. This bell's gonna take him to hell. Oh gosh. Let's roll. Oh, we don't run into my mom on the way back to my room. Good. What's that? Is that like a pressure cooker? All right, here, monster, monster. Okay, there's a camera set up. Yep. Damn, the clowns are back. I'm not down with the clown. You, you take your Fago and you go to my trash can now. He will be able to find a way out if he follows against the black darkness. Follows against the black darkness. Should I turn off my... Oh, shit. Second part. What the hell? Uh, that was a bad idea. Okay. No, it's like way dark. It's not even light out here. The trap is ready. I need to go back to my room and go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Trap this beast. Three hours later. So when I hear him outside, do I have to jump up and go shut my door? Let him attack my mom and not me. That was intense. Yep. Yeah. Did I call him the right name? I said Bozo, right? Hid the body here. I need to board up this passage, the passage to this room. Oh, no way. Okay. Board. All right. Now I've got this house all to myself. What? Oh, madness in Act 5. What body, though? My mom's body or the monster's body? Was my mom the monster? Oh, my mom was the monster, right? He didn't attack her. Did he attack her? I don't think so. I think she tripped down the stairs and died. She was the monster under the bed, I think. You're just trying to scare me. Death is your only escape. 
escape. Oh, shit. Never. I already killed you, you hag. <laughs> Feel free to scream Never. whenever you want. I would scream. Nothing scares me, though. Still, like, don't understand what I'm doing here. <laughs> I, like, run back and forth. I click on the door sometimes. I zoom into the door sometimes. And then usually something happens. This time it's not. Somebody like can't push them out of the way this time. Oh, letter. I avoided the underground subway so that I would no longer face my fears. Until this day, I managed to cope with them. I can move him now. Get out of my way. Get out. Some whoa. Something unknown scared me. I was afraid of non existent monsters, and it was just my imagination. I didn't want to believe that my mother was the real monster. boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents. I already read this one. You. Who do you think you are? After I was abducted by the maniac in the clown costume, my consciousness separated from reality, and I began to plunge into the astral? The astral? <laughs> it just made me Grab that one's boob. <laughs> it didn't give me the hand thing anywhere besides just right there. I'm such a child. <laughs> you made me touch a boob. Tonight, two patients escaped from a psychiatric hospital. A man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple. Enter into trust and can harm others. Be careful not to come into contact with him. If you suspect anything, call the local police. Oh. Is that them? Well, let me dismiss this. Okay. It's these crazies, Steven and Nancy. Wait, are they like serial killers? Okay. The people depicted in the photo were my real parents. I couldn't put it together then because I was too young to understand it, but now I understand. Oh. Oh, they killed my real parents and acted like they were my real parents? So what about my dad? He was like a crazy person, but also I liked him a lot. The red sun lights up the path of the white light. Night. He will be able to find a way out of it, out. Uh, let me restart, sorry. The red sun lights up the path of the white knight. He will be able to find a way out if he follows against the black darkness. A woman in a blue dress whispered to him, be strong, my white knight, for there is a struggle ahead of you for the green meadows. The knight found a way out, how to free the flower meadows to do this. He needs to return to the dark land and defeat the black witch. And he did. The sun shone a bright yellow light, freeing every corner of the green earth from the darkness. Uh, am I going to need to know the order of these? Like the star and the cross and the six pointed star and the triangle and stuff? Shit, maybe I should write these down. These symbols mean something. Oh. Oh, I have to touch them in order. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, whoops. Okay, star. 
One is star. So, oh, star. Dang, dang boob again. Um, two is iron cross. Three is a star David. Wait, what's that? That's not something I've seen. That's a different sign symbol over there. What the hell is that one supposed to be? Star David. Um, okay. The Oh well, that one changed. Right there. And then an iron cross. I don't see one. I guess I'm gonna go with this. Okay. A triangle. And the Trinity. Oh no! Okay, oh yes. <laughs> okay. And then the star. And then this thingy. There we go. Hey, who are you? Oh, is that me? Yikes. Doctor, Peter, are you ready to talk about your childhood today? No, it was pretty rough. I just don't like to bring it up. I like to suppress it. From an early age, my life was... Okay, I guess I will. From an early age, my wife, life was a nightmare. After my mother disappeared, I lived in an orphanage. I didn't tell anyone what really happened. Just like I'm not going to tell you, because I really wanna, don't want to get into it. Do you still have nightmares? Yeah, it's... You know, maybe. At the shelter, my nightmares stopped. I couldn't stop thinking that I had killed my mother. I've lived with this pain, this guilt, all my life. Now I found out that it was a runaway psycho who killed my real parents when I was very young and took over our lives. Now don't ask me any more questions, it's about all I really wanted to say. How did you know that? You know, I just pieced it together in my dreams. Okay, I'll tell you. Today, after all these years, I went astral again. I saw everything that happened to me at that time. Is that where you met her? And what happened next? Well, I had to touch this mannequin's boob. That was kind of weird. I conquered her and overcame my fears. And I realized that when I was a child, I saved myself. Yeah! Beast mode. I don't think so. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's been following me this whole time. Oh no. Wait, this game ended the same as the last game. Not really ending whenever it's supposed to end. Son of a gun. Alright, well I'll be going to bed fairly soon whenever I figure out how to get out of here. But yeah, thanks for kicking it in, Tronics. cool. If a nightmare has haunted you once, don't think it has let you go in the end. So that was Find Yourself. Also kind of similar to the last game. Some weird stuff where I never quite understood what I was supposed to be doing, but I kind of was able to stumble my way through it anyways. Not a bad game, but I definitely think the next entry in the Emika games library is when did I say library? Library is when it gets stepped up to a whole nother level of scary, of, of awesomeness, basically. It's, it's still not like super like linearly focused. Like this was a linear game, but both of the games have been linear games, but they are a, a lot of backtracking back and forth to make it linear. And I, I think the next one's not quite as bad and 
one of the scariest games ever made. I think you're gonna like it. And, and I like this one too. It was um, it was decent. Yeah, so far I think it's pretty cool to kind of see the progression of Emika games, especially knowing where they're at now. But as you watch through this marathon, and you'll see how their games kind of progress, and probably how I start to enjoy them more and more. So I I have enjoyed both of these two games, but and and this one, find yourself, I enjoyed more than the last one. Especially liked it because it was shorter. The last one I started, it started to really drag on once I got to like the two hour mark, and this one just took me an hour to get through it, probably half hour edited. So. Subscribe.